right, YouTube Block and Load Ninjas, interwebs at large. Um, let's talk about this handsome weapon. This is the Franklin Armory Militia SBR in 308. I'm, I, I was very impressed. I mean, just look at the size of this. This does not look like your typical big 308. And that impressed me because everybody gets out there and they say, you know, for everybody, they're like 7.62 by 51 is where the battle rifle begins. Well, here is a nice tight package. And its weight, well, it's stuck to the rest, but its weight is, is not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's talk about the gun by the numbers as it's put together. This is a Triumvir muzzle device, which is pinned and welded to a 14 and a half inch contour barrel. The handguard is a 14 inch FST, as they call it at Franklin Armory, with embus sights front and rear. It's got a standard charging handle, which that seemed to work pretty good on the range. The bolt carrier is a uh, salt bath nitride coated and uh, gave me no issues whatsoever. The lower is the militia lower with the BFS-3 trigger. This is the mag pull CTR with an ergo ambi pistol grip. And like I said, it's in 7.62 by 51. For, for most people, I would think this would be the ideal AR if you're going to carry it in 308. There are some that are bigger, they're longer, they're heavier, but the combination, it's a, and when we took it to the range, I was an M60 gunner when I was in the military, and I forgot one thing about shooting 7.62. Well, if you're gonna shoot 7.62 and you're gonna put your, put your face here, you should really be doing like this. But you'll see what I'm talking about when we take it to the range. Um, this will throw the kind of lead you need to go down. And, you know, the, the military now, they're looking for, uh, they're looking for a different caliber. They, they're trying to get away from 5.56. They found out that 7.62 is the minimum caliber in some of the theaters we've been fighting in because of the mud walls and everything else. 5.56 five, won't penetrate it. 308 will, 7.62 by 51 will. Uh, I think the Marine Corps dusted off some M14s and got those out there. And now I think they're probably looking for a rifle in this configuration. I don't know. I don't know. It's only been like 30 years since I got out of the military, right? So let's take this to the range and take a look at it. Now, despite the way it looked like, and um, uh, my son told me this gun was pushing me around. <laughs> but I thoroughly enjoyed shooting it. Uh, Jay Jacobson, the CEO of Franklin Armory, told me of a situation he was in that I can't tell you about. But uh, he had one of these, and he was very happy that he had one of these in the situation he found himself in. And that's all I can tell you about it. Just like every weapon out there, though, the fit and finish of Franklin Armory is just, it, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. The feel of the, everything that's proprietary of theirs has been so well thought out. You know, you've got, once again, you've got quick, quick detaches in three points on the weapon. Here, here, and here. Oh, right there, yeah. So everything's already thought out for you. No, no need to add anything special to it. Just hook it to it and go. Put your optic on it, put your light on it, put your sling on it, out the door. I don't know how better it could get than that with the binary trigger, which 
If you know what the binary trigger is, you know what I'm talking about. To find out more about these, go to franklinarmory.com. I'll be talking to Jay at SHOT Show, and I'll be having him on the show, but I'll be filming with him at SHOT Show, and we'll show you some other new stuff that he's got coming out. If you like this kind of content, and I hope you do, give me a thumbs up. That'd be nice. Maybe subscribe to the channel. That'd be even nicer. And uh, I'm out of here.